Ok. No, it's work or not. Ok. So. Hi everyone and welcome to this first uh, live uh, in YouTube. So this is my first live. And in this uh, live, i like to present for you some keys or some tricks to get the better result or better render quality. This is so interesting because for me, for example, sometimes I when I visit some websites, artist websites, I see uh, very good portraits and very good uh, renders. And every time I uh, said, so how to get this good results? So actually there is some, okay, secrets to get a good result. So for example, here I have this scene and this is a character and I use some clothing uh, here, glass. Okay, so first thing to do to have a good result, a good render is to choose carefully your elements to create your scene. You need to choose the, the right character and the right clothes because there is some clothes with a good result or with with sorry with good uh, texture, good texture quality, and there is another with a bad texture quality. The same thing for the character. So. It's so important to choose the, the right character and the right clothes. This is so important. So then there is something so, so, so important is so here I have a render render settings and I like to show you my render settings. So actually I keep the all all the parameters, but there is something so important here. I change the pixel size for my render settings you need to choose you need to render with a very high very high uh pixel size as you see here i have 2160 and 3840 pixel size this pixel size maybe uh, takes so, so much time to render but finally guys if you like to have a good result you need to wait so so uh, take uh, some uh, time to render, but finally get a good result. So as you see here, I'd like to show you something. So here I have to change that to new window. And when I click render, you can see here how this render is big. And this is so interesting because when you use a, a big pixel size, you have so much pixel size and this gives your render a compressed uh, pixel size when you use the, finally the small one and you have uh, when when you use finally the small picture and finally you get a very good result as you see here this picture is so big so cancel that I show you here the final result I have. So go there, three. I have some renders that I already created, but for this render and this pose, I already show you the render. Here we have, so the final uh, render. And it's so interesting because when you zoom, for example, you see that every time you zoom, you zoom, you keep the quality. And there is something so important is you need finally to go to one of so the popular uh, web uh, uh, softwares for edit edit your picture for example for me i use a lightroom i like lightroom so here for example i have this pictures that are already uh, re rendered i have this renders already created and this is one of my renders so i go to uh, my pictures and i have here a great uh like a filter so where is it this one so the same one so i click that copy it all come back to my renders and i try to apply this filter here 
So I go to like that, then past. Then as you see, you can see here, so I export this uh, or this picture and I'd like to show you the final picture result. I think this one. So as you see here, the first thing is when I select my picture, you can see here, the size is two, uh, uh, it's like three megabytes. Okay, and when I open this uh, picture, you can see here that the picture, okay, it's good, it's good quality. Right, when I zoom, you can see here, you can see clearly here the texture of my, for example, kilometers. And this is so important when I zoom. So this is so interesting. I have here created uh, some other so uh, renderers, for example, this one. For example, this one. Every time I zoom like that, you see that texture is so good quality for texture. And this is so interesting. Look for her, her lips. And when you see here like that, it's a good, good, good result. No, that's not the perfect result because I don't use a uh, professional so uh, techniques to edit my picture, find the picture, but I use the simple tricks uh, using Lightroom. But finally, I have a good result. So this is, this is one of the tricks that you need to, to know to get so a good result. It's the pixel size. You need to work with the, the big pixel size. So to create a pixel size, you go to custom, then click here. Then you change here, uh, sorry, so custom. Then you go to pixel size or pixel size global. Click here, parameter settings and change these two values that accept to get so a new pixel size. I recommend you to, to work with a big pixel size. The second thing here that's so important is the light. The light is, is the most important thing, the light. So, uh, for example, for me and I don't know, Maybe for you, you you're not a, a professional, uh, so artist. This is why you need to download some. So you go to Daz. 3D.com. You go to to shop, and you search for some lights. So for me, I use, uh, I have here some lights, but the the most okay. Uh, useful one for me is a uh, light uh, called artistic light kit there is so many options with this artistic light kit so you know that in this uh, scene I don't have I don't use a HDRI map or HDRI environment just a simple light and simple parameters for a light so the light is so interesting you need to use a good uh, so light quality and there is so many lights if you go to desk3d.com, you can, okay, get so many lights, for example, here. When you click light, there is so many lights for a portrait for so many lights, and you can choose between us. For example, let's see, this one is, is like the light that I already use here. Okay. So the light is so important. This is so important. Okay. So another thing is really important when you try to create a portrait with a good result or a render with a good result is to do, don't use so many elements in your scene because if you use so many, for example, for me here, I don't use uh any background any props i don't i don't use props as you see here just like a background with a single color and for and uh, this a uh, light so uh, artistic light kit give you this background with a light and this is so amazing 
and there is some option that you can change the color of this background okay so do not use so many okay perhaps so many things so many elements so many contents in your scene because this give okay you render so many time to render so five hours 10 hours 20 hours so when you use a, a hot uh uh hot uh so a big pixel size okay this is so important so uh we speak about quality so the quality actually is the light and the texture that you use your the texture quality of your so uh clothes or for your uh character you need to choose the right character with a good texture and you need to use a good uh texture for uh, uh, the right clothes with uh, with a uh, good texture to get a good result okay there is another thing so important is the camera you need to know that there is so many options with a camera so here i have a camera camera one so here i change so many parameters in with my camera for example if i click here off on so because i use a portrait mode for example when i try to use ultra hd when i click here off or on off or on oh, oh sorry sorry this is primitive okay i like that i think that when i use okay so here camera yes as you see here there is a difference you need to play with uh, the frame with uh, the frame and the focal distance uh, of your camera so i don't recommend you to use the focus distance because this may uh, make your render have a long time to render and because you don't use uh, so uh so many elements in the background for your uh, portrait you don't need to use a focus for your uh, render so let's come back here so this is for the quality the quality so you need to use a, a good light a light your right light and you choose carefully your elements and to finally use the uh, the filter to you need to uh, choose the the right okay options for your uh, edit so picture for example I have this render I just click here past and you see the result so much better yeah the result the result so I have here already create some uh, renderers for example this one for example here I have a piercing you can zoom and see go clearly the piercing I think this is a very good quality so now I like to talk about the realism how to get more realistic uh, result so for more realistic results there is so many things to do you need to choose a good position you need to choose uh, the most realistic character to use for example here i use this character she called death stranding mama from the game death stranding i don't know if you know death stranding so this is the game she called Death Stranding Mama. So this is the character that I use from a game. Okay. This this game is so popular. Okay. So I use this character. This, this character is really... Uh, I like it because she's uh, really uh, real, realistic. Okay. 
you need to choose the right character and the position you need you need to use some accessories i like tattoos i use uh, mostly of my renders and portraits i use uh, tattoos because this gives more charm and make your character more sexy uh, the nails here color and i use piercings i like piercings too this may may give more realism for my uh, character so this is my first life and i hope you enjoy it if you like it don't forget to like if you have any question any question please comment and i answer you so thank you everyone and see you in the next video ciao